Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to another episode of Reconcile the Podcast. Our last, our last episode of <laughs> season one, guys. As we can see, we are in a different location. We decided for this last episode to find things a little bit different, right? And yeah, <sighs> before we begin, mm-hmm. um, if you're listening to us on YouTube, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, um, share with your friends. If you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or whatever um, platform, audio streaming platform you are listening to us from, leave us a review, follow us, um, follow us as well on our socials. Yeah. We're on TikTok, we are on Instagram. We love TikTok so much. We love TikTok so yeah, much. We love TikTok so, we love much. TikTok so much. It's yeah. so fun. It's so fun yeah. and so engaging with, yeah. Yeah, with our audience. But even Instagram. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've <laughs> been loving true. Instagram uh, stories mostly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So guys, we're going to be talking about as you can see from the title, drum the rolls. Thing, okay, drum roll. The thing about the secret place. Secret place. The secret it's a secret place. place. Yeah. So, um this video, okay. What is and what happens in the secret place? Let's just yeah. dive right into Yeah. Yeah. This was before we begin actually this was a requested video from one of our fan favorites if i may say is fan that favorite like favorite fan <laughs> 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 no but like one of our consistent viewers Oh. What's the word for this Nisa thing? Wa, Nisa. Yeah, like a, a, f- a friend of ours, I believe, mm. who has been like watching and he's like, by the way, guys, you should talk about this. And so oh, this is in nice. honor of Michael, if you're watching. Oh, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, So yeah. The, okay. What is and what happens? Okay, Sawa. So, so mm. we know, we all know this scripture, Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, which says, and you, when you go into your room, mm. Okay, I might misquote it. Wait, wait, but wait. when you go, this is the NSV, Natalie Standard Version. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> what I do to stick to NKJV hey, um, or NIV? NKJV. Um, <laughs> this is what I go through every day. You know, battle of the Bibles. Mm. But it's a joke, guys. Like, yeah, um, it's it's a joke. Joke. Oh, the word so Matthew chapter six verse six says, mm-hmm. um, "But you, when you pray, yes, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is where in secret. Eh, uh-uh. You're not giving me the energy. Pray to your father who is where in secret. Hallelujah. <laughs> pray to your father who is in the secret place. So where is God found in, in the, the secret, secret place? place? And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Mm. So when I was thinking about this." Um, like secret place, my the fa- what I wrote was the secret place is my meeting place with God. Mm. It's my modern day tabernacle with God, where through the sacrifice of Jesus, I get to go into the holy of holies Ooh. boldly mm. and commune with my God. Mm. Yeah, that wow. was that. That is my. That's my. Definition, definition of the secret place. I feel like as well as I define it as that it is my meeting place with God. It mm. is that place where it's by the not a Tent place of, of meetings. Yeah. Tent of it's not, you know, we come to church, we go for fellowships, we, 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 we are in these Christian spaces, but when it comes to now, the, the day, the middle of the week where you have no fellowship to go to, you have no Bible study, you have no church to go to, it is just you and God. That is my meeting place with God as well. Mm. And, for me, I wrote um, it is a place of encounter, a place of fellowship, a place of friendship, and a place of direction. Mm. Like there's so many things, peace, strength, whatever, all these things mm. come from that place, the secret mm. place. It mm. is, yeah. And uh, that is how I define it. Mm-hmm. Do I continue? Mm. I wrote as well that in the secret place is where you behold. I think that is point number one for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. It is a place of beholding the beauty of the Lord. Mm-hmm. There is this verse in second, is it second Corinthians mm. three eighteen, which talks mm. about now as we the are veil, beholding, the veil has yeah, been torn. Yeah. So now we get to behold the the beauty of the Lord. And as we behold, we are, we being, are being transformed, transformed into that same image. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the secret place is where you get to behold. Mm. There's um, a verse that I really am coming to love from Songs mm. of Solomon. Mm. 
why will i find it cuz nakumbuka the last time i was looking for these songs of solomon nilitafuta kuitafuta ilikuwa after ilikuwa after ecclesiastes oh yeah which is before. after proverbs so um songs of solomon songs of chapter solomon chapter 2 verse 4 14 actually that says mm-hmm. my dove my dove in the clefts of the rock in the hiding places on the mountain side this is my part now show me your face let me hear your voice mm-hmm. for your voice is sweet mm-hmm. and your face is lovely mm-hmm. like i just feel, when i imagine like me just meeting with god i'm just like god just show me your face it is a mm-hmm. um is it um um psalms mm-hmm. 24 is it verse 6 the where it talks about this is jacob the generation of those who seek mm-hmm. the face of god like mm-hmm. we seek the face of the god of jacob mm-hmm. and so um the um, the secret place for me it is that place where you're seeking the face i remember i was watching a video by donsin mm-hmm. where he was sharing that mm-hmm. when you seek the face of god mm-hmm. the things that he, instead of seeking his hand the things that come from his hand eventually follow you because you're seeking his face and yeah. not his hand yeah. so i feel like for me in the secret place na kwanga tu by the god i don't want i i have so many problems i have so many things mm-hmm. that i could bring to you but i just want to fellowship with you mm-hmm. i just want to meet with you i just want to see and to behold your beauty mm-hmm. yeah so the secret place is a place of beholding, beholding. Yeah. okay so when i was thinking about the secret place mm-hmm. Um because I was just allowing Holy Spirit to inspire me and to inspire my thoughts. The question, there's a question that popped up and it was do you know? Mm. So to all of us who are watching, do you know that you have access mm. to the secret place? I think for a lot of us, na na shinanga tu nikirudia for a lot of us because of shame, because we are so inconsistent, because we are so oh my god, okay, today I read my Bible. The next time you pick up your Bible is like two three weeks and then you just feel like okay there's really no point mm. so um do you actually know that because of the work of Jesus Christ you can come to him um boldly do you do you know that do you know mm. that you can come to him every single day every single day every single moment mm. you can go to him and be like okay god i am here and the scripture that came to my mind was from hebrews chapter 4 from verse uh, 15 to 16 mm. it says that for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses and i really love that verse because the 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 writer of hebrews of course by the inspiration of the holy spirit does not say who cannot sympathize with our strengths mm. he says who cannot sympathize with our oh, weaknesses and then verse 16 goes ahead to say let us therefore come boldly to the throne of god so so many of us because of you know like everything that you know the world is just hitting at us we are we want to spend time with god but we are not spending time with god we we dwell so much on our weaknesses mm-hmm. we dwell so much on what we lack and then we forget that we have a high priest who is able to sympathize with that the bible with us the bible says that though he did not have though 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 um he didn't sin that's what the bible says but then not i really love the next verse he says let us therefore come boldly mm. despite not even despite in spite of our strength our yeah, our we weaknesses like jesus knows that i you you are nothing without me mm. that like he is like i don't expect you to be anything mm. um without me you you're really nothing So now because of shame and because of everything that we go through we allow our weaknesses to keep us from coming to the throne of God coming to the presence of God but that verse says we have a high priest who is able to sympathize mm-hmm. with our weaknesses mm-hmm. and because he is able to sympathize with our weaknesses our laziness our you know just confusion and everything he still tells us let us therefore come boldly, boldly. to the throne of god let us therefore come boldly to his presence when i was th- thinking about this throne of grace mm-hmm. i was thinking it as um the throne of god mm-hmm. like it's it's still in in the secret so now when we come to the throne of god when we come into this secret place with our weaknesses what happens is that there is an exchange mm-hmm. when you read that verse it says you, um when you come you will be able to obtain grace and favor 
no grace and mercy mm. to help in time of need so when i'm coming to god with my weaknesses because he knows i am weak he's giving me his mercy and his grace mm. so when we are in the secret place what happens is there's an exchange mm. that's why you find the more you commune with god the more you just say okay i'm going to spend time with you i'm going to spend time with you things that were disturbing you like the things that um probably you are struggling with why this thought has come sleep paralysis i don't know where it has come from but i'm gonna stick with that thought like probably you're struggling with sleep paralysis but the more you continue keeping at it with god and just fellowshipping you'll find that okay now i'm free mm. you'll find that in the secret place there's an exchange you receive the freedom of god you receive you receive um the grace of god you receive the mercy of god mm. so that was my first point that number one do you know that you have access yeah, number yeah. two the secret place is a place of exchange mm. you give him you, you're trading your weaknesses oh, because now even yeah. that verse goes ahead to say that though let me even read it um he was not like he 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 was not without sin mm. um it says for hebrews but four. yeah yeah hebrews 4:15 yeah. for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin mm. so now you see the more we stay the more we commune with god the more we stay there we <laughs> sorry the more we stay there the more you you get like i don't know how i'm looking at this at this verse right now it starts by saying in all points he was tempted as we are but he was without sin mm. And the Bible says that um we have been given grace it it's in Timothy that the grace of God has appeared to all men teaching them to say no to all ungodliness. So then there's another verse that says uh if we say that we have no sin we deceive mm-hmm. ourselves for sure for sure. But I just feel like and this is of me to a thought that is in my mind right now um I don't know if I should let me not say it because it's still I don't know if it's true or not true mm. but I just feel like there's a place that we can get to where for real for real we can refuse ungodliness mm. we can refuse sin so just like Jesus the way he was tempted he was without sin you get like mm. I don't know I like it it's, it's a thought it's a thought it's a it's an unprocessed thought mm. but I hope um you guys get what i'm trying yeah, to put we, across we are to not get sinned guys to not get so. to yeah. get yeah so that was my first point yeah that's a really really good point mm. um for me i my second point mm. was that it is a place a secret place mm. yeah the secret place 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 the high to i bishet afadhali kuna place tuna bengi chips in it a high place high place praise the lord amen natalia nafikiri anafikiria tu mambo ya high place tuki Kai god unaona <laughs> anyway um my second point the secret place mm. is a place of dwelling a place of mm. seeking and a place of dwelling mm. and this was from um psalms mm-hmm. 27 i really love the book of psalms mm. um but psalms this is a very common verse i believe it mm. says that one thing i ask from the lord mm. this only do i seek that mm. i may dwell in the house of the lord mm. all the days of my life to mm-hmm. gaze on the beauty of the lord and to seek him in his temple. Mm. And let me just actually just see my all three points because in and Nishana na he was mm. verse 5 says for in the day of trouble he will keep me in he will keep me safe in his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Mm. So my point was that first of all the um the secret place is a place of seeking it is a place of dwelling and as well it is a place of protection which yeah. we're going to look at but we're, we're going to look up at it from now Psalms 91 you yeah. know he who um abides dwells, dwells <laughs> abides dwell, dwells uh, nkjv and navy <laughs> whatever guys uh, but yeah the secret place it's a place of seeking mm-hmm. as you talked about like the um, 
gazing, a place of dwelling a place of dwelling and a place mm-hmm. of seeking like oh. it's you're seeking and you're dwelling mm-hmm. and as i've said like mm-hmm. it, you're not do you're not seeking mm-hmm. god for okay god i'm here to seek you for my car i'm here to seek you for like it's just fellowship i mm-hmm. feel like as a believer it mm-hmm. needs to get to a point where we're just like okay god like i have i have this and you know the thing with god is he knows mm-hmm. he knows like okay natalie by then natalie and i taji school fees mm-hmm. natalie needs this natalie needs this mm-hmm. he knows mm-hmm. but the moment we just want natalie to natalie needs a, ha- a <laughs> husband <laughs> She needs a husband. She needs a husband. She needs a jet. Yeah, God jet. knows. She needs a jet. <laughs> a jet. A jet. Eh, and utakuwa Sawa. So yeah, God knows. God God knows. He knows. He knew us before we were formed. He knows our thoughts. He like he knows. Hmm. But we need to get to a place where which I feel like now that is the place where we can be able to that this is our secret. This is my secret place with God. Hmm. It is a place by the way I'm just thinking about it right now and hmm the only reason why you can be confident mm-hmm. of the things that of who god is it mm-hmm. is because of the things that he has told you in mm-hmm. that secret place mm-hmm. like i cannot i can't come here and say my baby my god my god is my god is a provider mm-hmm. without having to like i have not lived that in that provision and i mm-hmm. get mm-hmm. and it is only until we are dwelling we are seeking god not because he is a provider not because he is a but just because he is god and he he deserves like there's no one else like when i think about god i'm just like but then no one else deserves my attention like you do mm. you get mm. so the secret place is a place of seeking and seeking his face like seeking to just behold his beauty to just see him and to see the beauty of his sacrifice so i look at it you know this um yeshua my beloved is the most beautiful when i think about jesus the most beautiful i think about jesus on the cross with blood dripping down his face with a crown of thorns and how he was beaten and you know that is that is truly jesus in his most beautiful state mm. in my perspective mm. and so what i'm trying to say is that it is a place of seeking a place of dwelling mm. like you are just there umekwamilia tu mungu it's like jacob was like me by the god sitoki hapa until you bless me mm. but in this case we are like god we are not living here until we are transformed mm. and you know the biggest transformation is not even like the transformation that happens um oh natalie was poor now she's rich the biggest transformation i believe is that inner that your your mind is transformed your mind is renewed each you're and every single like day jesus. you're looking like jesus yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know sometimes you'd be like okay this person um uh, why is he mbona hakai ni kama like why does he not look like he is seeking god you know mm. but when you really sit down with such people like baby wow i see jesus in you mm. and i believe that is the most high the, the highest compliment mm. someone can give you mm. my point before ni um rudie tena psalms 27 verse 4 mm. that one thing i have desired that mm. i will just seek like i will dwell in the house of the lord mm. and i pray that it is a prayer for us as well like to seek to let us not be um with god just because of the things that he can provide which god is a provider he will provide these things just because god um jesus ndo nasemanga that he is like if we could men know how to give good gifts how much more god you know mm-hmm. god knows how to give you like i think of god like god you're such a good dad like you know i need this you're going to provide it for me whether or not i know you're going to provide it for me first of all whether or not i think you're going to provide it you're going to provide it mm-hmm. so let me just be with you because like it's just i love my father mm-hmm. my earthly father whether or not he will give me um the na, the money i need i love him mm-hmm. and yeah do i make do I make sense mm-hmm. yeah that's okay. my point Okay. So, I don't know if I should. So, mm-hmm. before I give my next point, mm-hmm. is a secret place just a physical location? Well, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're talking about this actually. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. there's a place for it needs to be a, phys- a, a physical sitting down. Yes, spending time in the word. But I feel like why it needs to be a physical it's more of for us so mm-hmm. that like yeah. well like the moment it's a physical place like you, you have a physical time a physical place uh, like you have a set time it's easier for us as humans to to like to honor that mm-hmm. but god is everywhere like uko kwa mat uko kwa bafu uko like he is everywhere so mm-hmm. i uh, have I answered the question like it's, it doesn't have to be physical mm-hmm. but there is importance in that Yeah, yeah 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 so when i was thinking about it um i i told you how these days 
when I'm coming home every single day and I'm coming home from town um if I don't want to be like just quiet mm. I I'm building this habit of reading my bible in the mat mm. so I just take out my phone and then I'm um, reading the bible and guys let me tell you every single time that I've done that hata kama kuna music hata kama okay at least matatu zetu zinakwanga quiet, quiet but mm. And going to come out and out and on but pull don't talk. Um, but at a kama kuna music, I've just been realizing how it's like I enter into a different world mm. to the point that I'm reading, let's say, John chapter six, and friends, I just want to cry. And then I realized, oh my god, it's like I know, I know this is not in my room and how I normally have to sit down and study the Bible, but it hits me that I can carry my secret place mm-hmm. everywhere that I am. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, what happens in the secret place is what? You seeking God, mm-hmm. you communing with God. So of course it is important to obviously even the bible says you go where into your room mm. go into your room have that time that 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 time where it's just you and god un- uninterrupted but it's not just limited there's this but then i feel like we can add it like it can just continue growing mm. and you realize that wherever you are you can have encounters with god because every time i'm in the mat and then i just start reading my bible i'm like Wow, mm. this is the best thing I've of course it's the best thing I've ever read. Mm. It's the best thing I've ever read. But that was a side note. So the se- the secret place is a place of rest. That's one thing I have in my in my as I continue to just walk slowly, slowly with God, I've realized that the secret place is a place of rest. Um and of course we know that what we do in the secret place is obviously okay, I don't say obviously, but what we do in the secret place is commune with God in his word and mm-hmm. with his word because the word of these are the thoughts this this is this is the mind of God the word of God the the bible it is his mind he's sharing with us his thoughts who he is mm-hmm. and this is how we get to know him so when we are praying when we are reading the word of God we are getting to know him and uh, and as we are getting to know him we are getting to also know who we truly are mm-hmm. because how i am right now is not who I, i until i look at myself through the lens of the word yeah. that's not me mm-hmm. but when i'm looking at myself through the lens of the word that is who i am mm-hmm. and I, i've said this before jesus is for me jesus is who like like my walk is towards becoming like jesus mm-hmm. and actually he says that greater works than this shall you do mm. like greater so now there's who jesus is and that is the image that i'm being transformed to anyway so now the more i commune with god in his word i've come to realize my anxieties my worry my stress my fear it all falls away the moment i'm reading his word That's why I've said the secret place is a place of rest. Mm. It's rest from the anxieties of this world. Oh my god, what will I become? Mm. Who will I become? Um how will I become what I want to become? And the more I commune with God, it's just like he takes it away. He takes my anxiety away. He takes my fear away. Mm. And then I realize, "Oh, okay, so God, you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory." Fine. Okay, oh God, when I seek you all these other things shall whatever what they'll, mm. they'll find me okay good oh so this is how i'm supposed to be as new creation fine so the more i continue to sit down with god my worry my fear my anxiety is replaced with the rest mm. that because god is a good father he will take care of me the rest i might not work um um according to everybody's timeline but as i'm moving and just walking with god as i'm staying with him i'm realizing okay you know what what matters the most to me as naturally mm. is that i'm moving at the time of god yeah. at his appointed time not the appointed time of the world not the appointed time of my parents mm. you know pressures might be here and there and there but the most important thing is 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 at God's appointed time. So as I'm reading the word as I'm fellowshipping as I'm communing, I'm just like, okay. Okay. I was my mom told me once that there was a time in high school I was so depressed. I can't mm. even thank God I can't even remember <laughs> that time. Imagine mm. I can't like she said that I was like, yo, I mm. I cannot. <laughs> I guess God takes away like bad memories, but 
but who i was then and who i am right now mm. is so different why mm. because i've been reading the word of god mm. i've seen it transform me i've seen it transform my 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 insecurities i used to feel like um mm, mm, mm. i've seen it make me more courageous mm. more bold like i can stand in front of people and it's fine i might be oh, okay what are i think about me but then the but at the end of the day i'm just like okay i've become bold mm. i've be- like that's not who i was mm. when i was 18 yeah. that's not who i yeah well. like i've become wiser mm. i've become stronger i've become more beautiful <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> and that's because mm. it is the word of god mm. for me it has been i'm seeing the transformation that is happening every time mm. i go into the secret place i'm seeing that okay i'm more sensitive to holy spirit like mm. i can hear him more i can i can i can be i can discern things sharper than i used mm. to and that's because i know this this word of god mm. is transforming me yeah. When I'm staying with him I'm becoming more like him. When if I, okay kuna mtu anaweza sema something different like you watch this video but I just feel like I'm less not the, not the word angry but I'm less you know like how somebody can be what's the word unakuwa na outbursts mm. like haraka haraka mm. so I'm realizing okay I'm becoming more loving more patient mm. more kind mm. all these things Yeah. So that 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 for me is something that I have seen that happens when we commune with God when we are in the secret place with him transformation happens mm. um growth happens mm. and ultimately we become at peace we become we 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 rest in him knowing that okay God is a good father he'll take care of me mm. as I'm minding his business he's minding my business oh, yeah. yeah and just to add on to because I've just I'm just thinking how at first at a mimi it used to get to a point where i'm just like i remember i was talking to a friend yesterday mm-hmm. and i was telling them when like okay let me just be vulnerable and say mm-hmm. pride is one of the things i have dealt with for such a long time mm-hmm. yani have you ever prayed for something for so long had you just like hey god are you even listening to me like i used to be like god i don't want to be prideful i don't want to like look for the you know Oh why are people not you know clapping for me? Oh I've sung I know I have a good voice. Why are you not people why are people not clapping for me? Why are people not me. yeah affirming me? And I've dealt with that for such a long time and it's until now yesterday that I was like wow baby eh but the god is like creating avenues where I have to be less prideful. Mm. And for someone who is like but I have been sitting down with the word but I have been but I have been here what do you mean transformation and I can't see transformation. My point is that sometimes it won't always be like immediate at and it's wa- never immediate it's actually never immediate. you it will take you like me like it's last year it's been a whole year and now is when i'm just realizing by the god i even stopped praying about it now is when i'm like by the wa this thing inaisha like inaisha so don't like don't leave the presence just because you're not seeing the transformation how you think it's supposed to happen does not mean you're being trans that do, does not mean you're not being transformed there's this analogy that is um, usually given mm-hmm. of you eat food but you, like it doesn't have to be meaningful first of all and you you're not going to eat food and get fat mm-hmm. that very day sindio mm-hmm. like it's going to it's going to be a while it it's going to be time. months it's going to be months you're eating you're eating gluttony gluttony boom yo you're bigger you get what i mean sindio mm. so even for this like for anyone out there who's feeling like wow by the god i've been here i've been um seeking you i've been in that ca- secret place ni pale mimi nawe but i'm not feeling as if there's something that is hap- that, like there's no tangible change trust me there is you just might not see it but there is and the good thing with this is that even people will see it way ahead way before you see it people will see it and it's it's a process that's yeah, my point the, it's a process yeah the principle of growth is very simple mm. the moment you plant a seed you don't see it the next day yeah it takes time mm. it takes so much time for a big tree to to like we don't see the roots we don't see the seed we don't see anything mm. but that doesn't mean it's not growing yeah that doesn't mean that its roots are not getting deeper mm. it is So I get the discouragement because even me sometimes I'm just like ah mm. okay god is this because sometimes I'm always like okay is this god's voice is this, uh, is this is this is this mm. but then I know for sure where I was two years ago yeah 
and where I am right now it's different yeah it's very different mm-hmm. and of course along the way i'm not aware of the changes when you must say like when you're adding weight you you never know mm-hmm. until, until one day, day boom <laughs> Just like what? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. growth takes time. It takes time. Just just be patient mm. with and yourself. continue to just behold. Never leave the present. Yeah, yeah, just just be patient. Mm. Allow one of my favorite favorite verses is mm. in James, where we where it tells us, um, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patient mm. patience this is verse three, and then verse four says but let patience have its perfect work mm. that you may be perfect and and complete lacking nothing so if we allow ourselves to not bypass process and if we allow ourselves to just be patient with god we will be perfect we will be complete and we will yeah. not lack anything yeah. but you see that's progressive mm. that's very progressive yeah, yeah. Wow. That's a good one. Yeah. Um so now uh before we conclude maybe just give um a like practical practi- practical like solutions like what does in practicality is that a word practicality? Mm. I think so. Mm. So yeah like practical um solutions just okay so this things is to someone, do this is someone that okay fine how do I begin? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So when I was starting out, I used to listen to so many sermons. I don't listen to a, as much sermons as I used to, but I used to listen to so many sermons because it would just, it was, for me, it was easier mm. to, you know, they understand the word, mm. the preachers that I would listen to, they would understand the word of God more. So it's like they're, it's like they're breaking it down for me in, mm. in chunks. But yeah. now I just, tackle it mm. like of course i do listen to preachers mm. but i'm just like okay where we where we see what will catch in the holy spirit aka ku reveal these bits zote so pia mimi i actually can yeah he can i actually well. i actually can so even when um when i'm for me i don't and i think i had mentioned this to you but when i'm spending time like god in the secret place i don't have music i don't listen to i don't have other people to help me i let me does it make sense okay i'm I not I, yeah yeah, I yeah like i don't have about. a t i'm listening to apostle Baka, rome in okay. the background i'm listening to cg who which music what i do is i just put an instrumental that's the match that i I like that's where I am right now. I put an instrumental. I sit down with my Bible. I open my Bible. I invite Holy Spirit. He's actually the one who's invited me because that desire comes from him. So he's the one who's called me. I sit down and then I tell him reveal Jesus to mm. me. Reveal just to me. So that's that's is that practical? I think so. The But second well, thing, okay. Oh, the my my last point okay, okay. um is another practical thing listen to the word of god so um this is separate this is separate but kai but those in ingiana and then there was a time i've said this so many times there was a time every day as i'm going to town my earphones what i'm listening to is the book of john mm-hmm. and let me tell you i saw like i saw the fruits mm. I saw the fruit of me listening to the Bible every single day because my even when it came to interpreting dreams mm. my dreams are that, that I'd have I just know okay this is mm. what the Lord is saying even when like as any situation uh, worry I just know John tararara mm. that's the, I'm I'm kicking into the word of God I'm kicking kicking into the word of God because I've said that f- the secret place yes it is a location but we can take it a bit higher and have it have it as an environment mm. so i'd encourage you guys as we are as your i don't know walking about doing your own business put the word of god listen to the word of mm. god yeah you'll wow. see you'll see you'll see transformation for real for real for real mm. i promise mm. yeah For me I think the one thing I've been doing which is kind of similar I think I told you about it mm, like ile sleeping, sleeping with the word of god yeah. the book of psalms my god at a me I've just been it's so crazy cuz I'm asleep but I'm not asleep mm. so in my head I'm just like ah psalms oh na relate na this other verse this other book it's so crazy and um before I forget like 
as you said that is where you are mm, that's so, me that's me that's you so it doesn't mean that now okay if you if you need to listen to you know um someone else um it's a bad thing you get yeah, like it's, it's not just, it's you and it's not God. doctrine yeah yeah, yeah, mm. yeah it's just up and yako it's okay you yeah, get yeah, 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 yeah. so um we've said as well it's good to have a physical location me i've always thought about it like if it's 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 like you respect and honor god so much so that you're just like god baby let's have this it's me and you let's have this mm. let's have this akaka kona kwa room yangu this is me and you this mat that i used to kneel down this is me and you like you know have a physical location though as we have said it can transverse if that's the word it can go beyond transcend, that yeah. transcend that you know and as well i think um another verse that i like to read is from the book of job 23 verse 12 it says i have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food mm. so as you have said it is the holy spirit that gives us this desire so it is a prayer that we should constantly be making that god help me esteem your word above necessary food help me esteem your word above the cares of this world mm. and all these things like the desire to spend time in the secret place will come from god mm. so ask god for that desire to like god i want to sit down with you with the word like i pray like i remember at first like in my early um whatever of just being born again like i used to feel so drawn out you know just and it happens i feel like it happens for so many of us where you're just like in the middle of the night you just find yourself awake and i remember pastor kushali niambia whenever that happens like that is just god drawing you in the middle of the night in the quiet to just spend time with him so i used to find myself now in that kind of moment i'm just like okay let me read my bible let me pray let me just listen to worship music and just sit in the stillness of that atmosphere and where it was amazing so as well if you find yourself in the middle of the night keep yourself busy i feel like it's such an important thing as you said to always like engage 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 the word of god so have a physical location engage and ask the holy spirit to give you that desire he is the one that will give it to you it is only by him if we try and do it by our own in it is only works and they won't last that is, that's the thing you will be consistent today tomorrow konje the other day you you in the other day you out no no yeah um yeah. uh, i've remembered mm-hmm. i me i'll say this mm-hmm. it's okay to be inconsistent yeah. it's okay like mm-hmm. it's 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 just part of the part process, of the process yeah. but as you said just engage mm. Con- constantly like talk to holy spirit talk to him talk to him yeah. and then one day me me i still feel like i'm in the like i've still not yet cracked it yeah. Ati, i can tell you guys wha, hey, wha, 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 wha. No, this, this, yeah. i've not yet cracked it mm. i've honestly not mm. but every single day i'm just striving mm. i have to talk to god mm. i always have to talk to god Mm. Mm. and That's you know it. the thing about actually even consistency it it doesn't always look like okay washera consistency you've is spent, not a straight line yeah and what well, my point is it doesn't have to <laughs> sorry. <look like. laughs> sorry i think we're on to different sorry. So it's okay it's okay <laughs> so my point is like it doesn't always look like okay two hours two hours every day two hours every oh. day two hours every day. like it's it's as you said leo maybe niliamka let nichelewa oops my bad but on the on the way to town i'm there seated with the word of god kesha maybe i have i don't have class i'm there with the word of god like it doesn't have to be like okay so now this is when i feel like this is me sitting down with the word of god today this is me sitting down with the word of god tomorrow like consistency is not that it's not a straight line that's what you've said yeah so yeah i'm trying to marry the same thing really? literally said okay it, your picture i had a picture in my mind yeah. of a graph mm. like it's 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 not as in linear. graph graph any in any in like in endanga hivi in endanga hivi in endanga hivi in endanga hivi lakini when you look at it from the bigger picture it looks like it's just going up mm. but ukishukisha unaona aya kuna time ili dip kuna time ili panda mm. kuna time ili ikakuwa straight yeah evil until the end but yeah i'm done yeah um as well i think i'm done as well yeah we've said consistency yeah yeah but as well let me just say one more thing in as like as well i feel like something that he many say dear as we said like honor that time with you and god like have a consistent kush said talked about this 
to one of to us like in SPT present worship in the present worship alikuwa anasema that have like a consistent hour of prayer um he likes to say that okay not hour but like i don't mean hour like 60 minutes i mean like it's just me and god at this specific come in 9 am to 9 10 it's me and god like god really sees that and he's like wow okay you know so have that consistent alikuwa anasema that 5 minutes every day is more effective than same one hour spread out through the whole month leo naomba kesho wombi like it's rather you do even those two minutes even just a god thank you every day is more effective than you know yeah i believe with the many and the few that we have said i hope that this episode will be a blessing and that you will have a thing or two to take away from it yeah that's it i believe we can pray will you pray yeah okay Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we want to tell you thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness to each and every one of us Lord God we thank you because of your word that has come forth Lord may you train us train us to be still and to wait upon you train us to be still and to just you know want to seek you give us a desire and a hunger to seek you and to know you lord god because your word says that when we seek you we will find you lord help us to seek you we thank you because this desire comes first from you may we honor your invite lord god we thank you and we give you all the glory we thank you for everyone who has tuned in may you bless them may you walk with them may you continue to guide them In Jesus name we pray and believe. Amen. That's it. Season 1. Kaput done. Done. That's it guys. Yeah. Um yeah, we hope like you, you you guys have had fun, like you've had so much to like learn and everything. We are very excited and we can't wait to see you in season 2 which is going to be in two weeks. Yeah. We're going to have weeks. another epi- another bonus episode. Bonus episode quote on quote and then have a break mm. and then we're going to now round up for season 2 in the next week so yeah yeah also mm-hmm. guys we were nominated for an award yeah a crazy one we talked we've talked about it in in the video the that you'll see next week mm. um but uh, in the meantime we we'll leave the descrip- the the details in the description down below you can vote for us if this content has been a blessing to you vote for us um if you love us just vote for us if you, if love, you love us reconcile the podcast mm. just to vote for reconcile the podcast yeah. um we also have a merchandise much, 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 so we also much, have much. a merchandise yeah. that we've been selling now see he, it's not this one guys it's it's it's, it's, it's like a it's there it's here on your screen okay, hopefully, yeah. hopefully um if you're listening to us on spotify please go to our socials tiktok TikTok yeah TikTok and Instagram and you'll see the kind of match that we have amazing quality it's the word of god it's transformational mm. let me tell you when you buy that t-shirt you're going to get a free plot of land one day ah okay okay that's a lie treat me kwa kanyari imagine my head was like prophet kanyari huyu <laughs> but ina ina come na blessing ina mm. come na transformation ina could take from glory to, to glory mm. your husband yako akiona umeiva mm. he's gonna be like who did that marry no hey. ataona oh this is, this my, is wife. my wife <laughs> i'm Lord joking anyway guys yeah. by the way, let me just say this cuz i've been wearing like christian branded t-shirts for like Reconcile. a short time reconcile yeah so Reconcile. every time i'm wearing this na nikiwa mahali or rather when i think about this shirt i'm usually like conversation starter that's the word that god gave me conversation starter like it's this is me spreading the gospel by the way cuz ni watu wengi na wao and they're like hmm reconcile what is reconcile and then it's just there boom 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 this Let is a moment you. for you mm. to minister to people mm. someone a mokorino lady alinipata like somewhere along the near he's like wow wow second corinthians wow that's such a you're doing such a lovely job that's such a good and i was like uni mokorino by the like you know but mm. yeah it's a moment for us to minister so um get your teacher t t t t t t t T-shirts guys <laughs> get your t-shirts from us yeah they are only 1200, 1200 shillings yeah this is this could be your opportunity to minister to god's people yeah to, in the bus in the matter to what uko anona if any man be in christ he, he is, is a new, new creation mtu tu anaona by the eh by the you know you never know by the sometimes you, never know, you really never know yeah. these are just the few interactions that few 
you never really know who you're ministering to mm. just because they're seeing you. Mm. Yeah. Eh, haya. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week for our bonus episode. episode. And then we'll see you in season two. Season two. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye guys. Shalom, brothers um, and sisters. Yeah. Sinivo. Bye. Bye. <laughs>